What will we do with this moment? How will we be remembered? This is our future and our choice to make. I am asking you to choose greatness. Welcome back, everyone. We're here with Real Trump News. And for today's broadcast, I want to give you a quick update in regard to some event that have happened occurred this week in America. All reports were based on information provided by the White House website. These are the news mainstream media does not want you to read about. American feels good about economy and give Trump credit, CBS New Poll says. Most Americans remain confident about U.S. economy and in their own financial situation. CBS News reports, 7 in 10 Americans says the economy is in good shape, including a quarter who says it's very good. Nearly all Republican and most Democrats and independents share this view. The result under President Trump has drawn out the media and political spin about his presidency. Today, 85% of Americans who rate the economy as good said the president's policies are mostly or at least partially responsible for it. Democrats are fuming that Don McGahn skipped the congressional hearing on Tuesday, but Mr. McGahn has every constitutional right not to appear. And this isn't a close legal call. The Wall Street Journal editorial board writes, House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler doesn't expect to learn anything new. He wants a show. He wants to use Mr. McGahn as a prop to spend three hours claiming that Mr. Trump tries to obstruct the Miller's investigation. Yet Mr. Mueller wasn't obstructed in any way. His capitious report was released for all to see, and there was no collision between Russia and Trump campaign. U.S. employers are stepping on the accelerator, and that is lifting average salaries and feeling record prices across many sectors. For the typical American workers, pay increases could soon surge past 4% or 5% of this year, according to labor export John Aiden Bryan reports for the New York Post. Single-payer, government-run, government takeover, one-size-fits-all, socialist, each is an accurate description of Democrats' preferred healthcare scheme, proposed in the misleading Healthcare for All Act. Representative Steve Scalise and George Weldon writes in Fox News. The more Americans learn, the further support sinks for their centralized government healthcare system. It will bring delays in access to needed healthcare. The $32 trillion price tag is so massive, it's hard to wrap your head around. In a new Hail Harry's X survey, a majority of registered voters said they support a new Department of Justice inquiry into whether officials' procedures were followed. When FBI began examining allegations of connections between Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and Russia, Matthew Sheffield reports for The Hill, 62% of respondents to the May 17-18 to 18 survey says that they support Attorney General William Barr's actions, including near half of Democrats' respondents. That said, we'll continue to keep you updated. We would love to hear from all of you. Please do leave your comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think of these headlines. Also, if you have a moment, come and visit us on Facebook. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.